スープマリオオデシー You've done it, and now we got a multi moon. It's as strong as three power moons combined. It should get the ship moving in no time. Let's see if we can't make it work on. Throw me on that globe. So now that we have six, we're gonna throw. I'm gonna need to make channel points. Or something. The Odyssey is restored. And now, with the power of the Odyssey, we can travel forward to reach the Sand Kingdom. Why don't we take. Why don't you take the helm? Just select Sand Kingdom and press A. We'll be off. Now, I don't think you can actually leave this menu. I think it has to take you to the Sand Kingdom. Uh, for references, though, the Hat Cap Kingdom looks like the hat, and Cascade Kingdom looks like a dinosaur head. I'm not sure if anyone else has ever noticed that. It took me until today to notice that. Don't worry, Cascade Kingdom, we'll be back. Oh, the soundtrack is so beautiful. I love the little light blinking. chills every time so how do you like me as a captain's hat pretty classy wouldn't you say now then where were we that monster's name is Bowser well, we'll chase him down in no time in the Odyssey. Seeing as how we've got some skill, time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Travel tip, ground pound. To smash blocks or enemies below you, or to flatten out bumps in the ground, nothing beats a ground pound. Press ZL in midair to do a ground pound and pulverize with a pos with your posterior. Well, there it is. If you need some more review, you might want to look at the action guide. And it kind of forces you to look at the action guide. Travel hints. Oh, that's just tips about the map. It's always there for your perusal. Just open the menu with plus and select the action guide. We should discuss the Sand Kingdom too. As you've no doubt pieced together, it is entirely covered in sand. And, as you can imagine, it gets quite hot. Hmm, there are some ruins there and an artifact called the Binding Band that links people forever, like a wedding ring. And this Bowser seems to be the sort of creep that would steal a priceless antiquity for his sham wedding. Um, the spoiler is the crashing the ship in four or so kingdoms, the ship crashes. Atop the highest tower. 
Huzzah! I declare the maiden voyage of the Odyssey a complete success. Oh, but why is it so cold? I thought deserts were supposed to be hot. Huh. The top of that tower is shining. But how could that be? Could it be a power moon? It could, and could indeed. Welcome to Tostarina, the jewel of the Sand Kingdom. It's also very Mexican. I think it's Mexican. So we have some seeds to find. Um, seeds go into flower pots, and over in game time, the sprouts begin to grow. They are random for how much uh, they need to grow. I think... Can I capture this power line and use it? Yes, I can. We have flower pods that allow us to spin jump. This rocket is frozen in ice. Let's get out of here. Top of the house. Let's go into this warp pipe. Into the, into the warp pipe. Now, this guy will say there's a pot prize in this putty room, but to find it, you'll have to feel it. Walk around, feel the rumble, let it move you to the prize. I believe it is up here. Of course you did. Of course you got Shade Rad Raid Shadow Legends. So we got that star. Back here we have this grate. Um, when I worked for a company that will remain unnamed, uh, there was a demo of Super Mario Odyssey. And on work shift when I was showing kids about Mario Odyssey, I would always bring them to this grating. So that they can see, by the way, there are lots of secrets that you can find. Like right here, you can go behind the shop. Talking to this guy. Play some slots. The Tost Arena game that's winning worldwide fame. It's 10 coins per play. What do you say? A power moon can be won. Try it. It's fun. Yay. Slots away. Now you can win a couple of prizes. Uh, health up. Money. We want the power moon though. My timing was a little slow. Way to play. It'll be 10 more to play. A power moon prize awaits. Slots away. That's what I'm talking about. I take it you don't like Raid Shadow Legends now that you've actually played it? I have three more coins back here. He's talking about a map. I think I've done everything around Toast Arena that I can do right now. Oh no, there's three more up on top of that. It's the greatest mobile RPG of all time. Okay, so the game wants me to go to the tower, but as always, I don't like following those rules. Don't worry about this rock. This rock will be dealt with later. I think there's a power moon here. 
top of a dune. This is the highest dune in the desert, and a dog is supposed to lead you up here. It's totally not pressing buttons and watching poor animations play out where you pretty much auto lose unless you pay. <laughs> oh, that's not a good game then. Here is our s no, Cappy. Why do you betray me this way? <laughs> Here is our second seed. It is the reason why I came this way. Well, isn't that usually how those mobile games work? They're paid to win. Just getting this uh, right here. So our second seed is in place. Our first one's already on its second sprout, so it's going well. That is true. Now somewhere out here... I think is a lone cat cactus. Is it you? It is not you. It's not you either. Or you. There is a cactus somewhere out in this desert. That I say lightly. Now this game does have special secrets that you can use. Uh, for example, if you get the wedding amiibos, you actually can have early access to the wedding outfits. Uh, but in addition, each wedding amiibo also does a secondary effect. Wedding Peach gives you more hearts. Wedding Mario helps you find something. Uh, and Wedding Bowser helps you find purple coins. So if you ever get lost in trying to find all of the purple coins in a kingdom, which can vary between 100 and 50 depending on the kingdom, Aha! Here's the cactus. So you move this cactus, and right below it is another moon. And then we have this guy. Hey dude, up for a challenge? Everyone loves walking, right? Problem is, most don't take it seriously. That's what trace walking is all about. If you can walk like a champ, you'll win a prize. Wanna try? Yeah, of course I wanna try. Sweet. The rules are a cake. Just walk around the following arrows on the ground. Here's the fun part though, the arrows will disappear after a bit. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, uh... Uh, WJT. 
What did you try doing? I don't think I did that well. Oh wow! I made it! Oh! That might- yeah. I really need to disable that, because some people might get that sort of alert and be 100% offended that they can't just chat the way they want. Which means I need to figure out how to access Moobot's memories to disable it. Here's our last seed for Toast Arena. So once we return the seed, they automatically grow, um, but you can speed up the process in later kingdoms where you have enemies with uh, water-based abilities. Our first seed is already on the fourth plant, while the second seed is on the two. So it's still going to be a while before we can harvest the power moons that come with the seeds. Before I even try to get the costume of the kingdom, though, we are just gonna have to wait until I get more purple coins. We have... Bullet Bill! Now, I need to go... Ow, I thought I fell. But dropped at least. I want this Bullet Bill to come with me through this hole. Oh, this Power Moon does not exist yet. Um, but... This Power Moon does. In the back of the ruins here, you can get another Power Moon. Alcove in the Ruins. Pull this switch to drop the wall. I primarily came back because I forgot those coins. Those cons. Have you ever seen the wolf cry to the purple corn moon? Sorry, B Bill, I need you for a specific spot. This one. Inside the block, inside a block is a hard place. And I fell. Let's see, maybe I can cheese this. Nope. I'm trying to just get back up now without going all the way around. There's lots of ways you can navigate around Super Mario Odyssey. It's why it's one of the funnest uh, exploration games. Leaning on a pillar. Or on a leaning pillar. I did not read that fully. Uh. 
There is another power moon that is later achievable here. Let's get this shortcut, and there are two more power moons to get. Over here against the wall. This is another one that I show, showed to kids uh, to show that they will be sneaky in the hidden places of the power moons. And over here... We have a quicksand. We're gonna throw ourselves in. Underground sections have two power moons in them. This particular one is an exception. I was running way too fast. As I was saying, this one is an exception because the power moon in this underground section is back above ground. These rock pillars do kill you in one hit. So there is actually no way of getting by from below. Two more coins. Now this section, I just like going uh, to the first one. Now there's a power moon there. Let's get the power moon first. And then we see a big pile of coins. Throw yourself off the cliff. And then collect all the coins. Throw yourself off the cliff again. Get all the coins. Going back up, there is nothing. Because again, this underground power moon is actually up here. Let's grab the Jaxi. Okay. Let's go for a ride. Oh. How you doing? I'm what you call a Jaxi. You want a ride? It'll be 30 coins. So what do you do? What? Do you, you doing some sightseeing? You gotta check out the inverted pyramid? Controls are a snap. B to break. ZL to dismount. I'll take off as soon as you're strapped in, but watch yourself. I go quick. And he does go quick. It is not an exaggeration. In fact, his controls are really, really bad. I mean, they're good because it's designed to make you struggle. The reason why we got uh, Jaxi is because in here, ow, is another underground section. An underground section with a Jaxi. Okay. 
Holding two helps with precision. But you don't get to control it for too long. And I fell. Now, I don't know if the power moon will stay. It looks like it did not. So we're gonna go for the shortcut this time. Also, if you have not been paying attention, yes, there are no lives in this game. Instead, falling off costs you coins. again there we go and we got the Jaxi stunt driving now I believe what I want next is to go up this very narrow path. Jaxi, why do you betray me this way? Charge! Again! Um... I don't like controlling Jaxi that much for platforming. <laughs> if it was not made obvious. Now, I don't think there's any purple coins missed. Good thing I didn't say this is a no death run. I don't think there's any purple coins from below. Correct. Here we are. The Jaxi driver. I'm a terrible, te terrible, terrible taxi driver. There we go. That brings us back here now. Going into the map, you can select any checkpoint flag you've activated and then press A. As a reminder that we got this one in the ruins. 